What's up, my favorite people, my shining stars? I hope you're shining bright. Not letting anybody dim that light. My name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel, All About the Healing. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you to my ride and dies that's been rocking with me from what, what? The beginning of my time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying in touch. Thank you for the comments. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the emails. Thank you for the donations. Thank you, my riding dies, my riding lives. Thank you, guys, all right? Okay. My new subscribers, thank you. I'm honored and welcome. Welcome to the family, all right? Hit the bell, guys, if you always want to know what's going on with the channel, all right? So hit that bell. Donations, energy exchange. Thank you for those who have donated, those who continue to donate. Thank you for those who... Um, who are... who is thinking about donating. Just know... That this is good ground. This is good soil. You shall reap what you sow one way or another on this channel, all right? And for those of you that um, wanting to donate, go to the description box, all right? All of that information is there. If you're new here, um, here for the first time, go to the description box. All of that information is there, all right, for your viewing. All right, so... Not getting ready to go through the spill to the spill to the spill to the spill. All right. So we're just going to get on in into it. All right. We are honoring, honoring the sign of Taurus. Bam. Look at that. Look at that, Taurus. Enlightenment. Positive energy. Be happy. Stop looking at your circumstances. Stop looking at um people places and things start looking at that positive energy is all around you i'm not even gonna go there i'm about to go there bam there it is i'm gonna let that go because i i got I, i've been in i know where i'm going with that but taurus just know you know just know stay positive moving forward in spite of people, places, and things that no longer serve you, they no longer serve you. So they're they, they're not they shouldn't hold any of your interests. Stay focused. All right, all right. So what we got going on today is: Have they truly moved on? Now, before we even go into any of this. I'm asking that you place that person on your on your mind that you want to know about. This person, place them on your heart, place them in your energy, on your mind. Place them, look at a picture, go get a picture, stop it and go get the picture. So you can have that energy around you so you can get an, a definite answer um, about this particular person. Have they moved on? Now, like I said in the other readings that I've done so far, the collective as a in a as a collective as a whole, majority of the collective has let somebody go. Have let somebody go, have moved on in another relationship. Some of y'all got a ring on it. All right? You got a ring on it. Some of you got a promise ring on it. You've moved on. Your heart has moved on. You're in love with someone else. Majority of the collective, it has moved on. But then it's another half of the collective that can't move on. That's holding on. That's obsessive. That's keep this, keep this obsessive energy going on and on and on. So we're going to find out where you fit in to this thing. Because the person who is obsessive can't let go, they're sending energy out, right? 
So some of you, if you don't know how to block your energy and if you don't know how to block people out of your energy field, then you're going to be bombarded with all kind of signs of them, their, their, it, their, their names, and you're going to be dreaming about them and you can't even get them, you know, they're popping up in your, you know, when you on the, when you turn on the radio, y'all song keep coming on or a song keep coming on. It's all of that type of thing. But you as a whole, as an individual, you've moved on. You dating somebody, somebody all up in your energy all up in your bed, all up in your, you know, y'all, you, you and this person is, is vibing, but this person keep on trying to evade in. So with that being said, that's where this is coming from. Okay. All right. We're going to, um, if, if, if they have not moved on, why? And even if they have moved on, why? If they have, if they have, regardless, we're going to find out why. And then I'm going to channel what do they want to say for themselves about this connection? What do they want to say? How do they feel right now about the connection? We're going to, we're going to get some answers on that. I'm going to channel that, okay? All right, so let's get into it. Have this person that's on your mind, in your heart, that you got on your mind right now, have they moved on? Yes. Spirit says, yes, this person has moved on, not because they don't love you. I'm getting that again, because last reading, they left the person, they sacrificed themselves for the person, for their person. But this reading right here, um, this person has totally moved on. But it's not because they don't love you. It's not that um, that that it's not that they don't love you. It, it's because or they have not forgiven you. Okay, it's because you two have outgrown each other. Somebody's on a different frequency. Somebody's in a different mindset. Somebody wants something different than the other person wants one person is is still the same and thinking the same and wants the same things and have the same habits and same things going on and the other person has moved on learning more um going um in a different direction and then the other person and so someone has found themselves has found a new found a new way of being and it's not with it's not with the other person. So fit it in where you get in. But some this somebody, this person has moved on. That's your answer. And Spirit said a lot of people know that this person have moved on. But do not want to face up to it. It's time to face up to it. It's time to let it go. If this is you that don't want to let it go, don't want to face it, think about it like this. How long are you going to hold yourself hostage? Because at the end of the day, this person here, look at them. Not only does it say yes that they moved on, but look at them. This person not only moved on, this person is happy. They're fulfilled. They've found, the, uh, uh, found a new way, a new... They found themselves. And in finding themselves, they found true happiness. If you see that right there, and that's the reason... They found happiness with the divine, their spirituality. What spirituality means to you. Because spirituality is vast. It's a lot. It's not just crystals and incense and uh, meditation. Spirituality can go uh, so many different ways on so many different levels. But... You need to find your level. This person has found it. They're happy. 
okay? And this person, oh, sorry. Oh. Okay. Is protecting themselves and is protected. Okay. Somewhere, somewhere, a uh, shape, or form, or fashion, this person is feel, feeling your despair, feeling your depression, feeling your anger, feel, feel, feeling your bitterness, feeling your pain, and they're protecting themselves from it because they feel like that is your pain, that is your issue, and they are looking within themselves and finding themselves and finding peace and harmony within themselves so they can move on and have a better life for themselves. They're opening themselves up to people, places, and things that's accepting them, that's loving them, that's wanting them in their life. And um, I don't know who, I don't know where you fit in. I really don't. But somebody's in despair, somebody's sad, somebody's angry, somebody's bitter, somebody's full of uh, somebody's full of anxiety. Somebody is just really struggling right now over this particular connection. And the other person has to protect themselves because remember what I told you that what how you feel when you're in a connection with someone, how you feel that all of that anxiousness, all of that anger and bitterness, all of that stuff, the other person can feel it and it repels them. It makes them run. It makes them go in another direction. It makes them not want to be around anybody that's in this energy. And so... This person is protecting themselves. Not only is this person protecting themselves, the divine is protecting them. So if this person is happy and this person is fulfilled and this person has moved on and you're like this, what is it going to take for you to understand when are you going to grasp to get, what are you going to do to get your happiness? It's not in this person. You're not going to get it from this person. This person is protected. What are you willing to do to come out of this energy so you can have happiness, so you can be fulfilled, so you can find that special someone in your life? What are you willing to let go? When are you willing to let go so you can move on with your life? I posed that question to you. Think about it. If it's you, think about it. If it's not you, if you're the one that's protected, just know the spirit is deal is going to deal with this particular person to get them out of this energy so they too can be happy and move on. Okay. Um, what do they want to say? Finding out the truth crushed me. So, um, what I'm getting out of this is that spirit has finally broke through to this person and got through to this particular person because finding out the truth that you're not coming back Finding out the truth that you are content and you're happy without them. Finding out the truth that you are moving forward in your life. Finding the truth that you're, you you have new friends and new um, pe you have options, viable options. People who are willing to give to you, willing to love you, willing to treat you with dignity and respect. And um, not, uh, you know, your soul fam. People that's on your level, this per that crushed this person, that made this person hit rock bottom. But the thing about rock bottom is you can't go anywhere but up. So now step by step, spirit is going to help this particular person go up step by step, day by day, hour by hour, week by week, 
month by month, year by year, until they can, too, pull themselves out of this despair. Right? So they, too, can find that happiness and that peace because everybody has that potential to find that happiness within themselves. And they want to say that you two were too young. So what I get out of this is that it says you and I were too young. What I get out of this is that no, you two were not young. You two met at the beginning. At the beginning, you guys was flourishing. Everything, you guys was on the same level. But one person wanted to stay at this young, with immature level. And one person wanted to grow. Wanted something better. Wanted to learn something more. Wanted to do something. Their heart was... Their, their heart, their soul was yearning. Their, their soul was crying out to do something better. To do something more. To be something more. To learn something more. And that's what distinguished this connection. But this person, what they want to say real quick. Is that when, it, when now that they, what they want to say is that. They are in a better place. They're not nowhere near where they need to be. But it's because of you that they met you. They know you. They were in your energy field. They know that what it feels like. They know where they need to go. By looking at you as an example by looking at you, you're you're you are a sounding board. You are a building block to where they need to go, and they just need you to know to keep on shining, to keep on uh, to keep on moving, to keep on being happy, because one day they will be able to say that about themselves. If you can do it, they can too, and they want want you to know. That they do love you. And if they've ever hurt you. Or if they ever did anything too, um, too damaging to you. They want your forgiveness. And they want to tell you that they love you. They, they want your forgiveness. And they um, cherish the love and the commitment that, they, that you guys shared together. Is what they want to say. Okay. What we got here. For the charms, we have miracle, we have beautiful, we have grace, we have fearless, we have love, we have brave again. So, brave, yeah, brave, not brave again, it's only one. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, this person feels like that when they met you, they hit the jackpot. You are a miracle. You, they didn't see, they didn't see it. They didn't see all your beauty. They didn't see all your grace. They didn't see all the abundantness that was surrounding you, but they see it now. And they, they count it as a miracle because um, they get this, they get, they, they count it as a miracle that they were able to even be in your grace, what, to, to even be around you, um, to even have, to even, to even to have had that experience with you. Um, they are trying to be brave. Um, because this is very hurtful to them that they will never be with you again. Um, they will never um, have have that intimacy with you again. It's just so heartbreaking to them. But they're trying to be brave and pick up the pieces. 
um, and they're trying to um, be fearless like you and move forward with their life in spite of how they feel. They're trying to do that. Um, here's the cross. There's, like I said, they're suffering. Um, here's um, wealth. Some somebody is wealthy, or somebody is getting ready to be wealthy. We have a heart. Somebody's heart is opening up with a flower that's bloomed in it. Somebody's heart is really opening up um, and overflowing. We have a, a, a barrel here with um, grapes falling out of it. Um, the riches, the, this is going to be money that's not going to be able to be contained. Is wealth for is generational wealth here. We have a dog, loyalty. Somebody's getting ready to be, um, uh, someone is getting ready to go into a wealthy marriage. Um, somebody's getting ready to take someone out um, on a vacation. Um, here's the feather, angel feathers. Um, here's, uh, so it's angels all around. Here's a key here. Here's a key here. Two keys here is the a key, is a key to um, open up possibilities open opportunities you got to find the right doors to go into these keys to go with these keys we have luck and we got money so it's, it's going to be money luck and money and with these with these uh with these keys we have love here luck and luck with love lucky in love somebody's getting ready to find the love of their life with that luck here's action somebody's getting ready to take action with um that luck and love so someone is already viewing i'm getting somebody's already viewing you already ready to um ask you out on a date somebody's been watching you somebody's been longing after you really want to take you out really want to know what you all about okay so we got love here we got love here and we got money that's wealthy marriage okay somebody is wealthy um, is getting ready to come in and um, actually ask you out. And when they ask you out, they're going to court you. And when they court you, you guys are going to get to know each other. And that's going to be your life partner. You're going to spend the rest of your life with this person. Some of you, you've already met this person. Some of you, you're, they're sitting watching you. Okay? Waiting for the perfect opportunity. All right. Here we go with the initials. M, F, X. So X means this could be an X. This is your ex that's in despair. Somebody want to have some sex. We got T, N, L, and B. First name, last name, middle initial. All right? All right. So this has been your reading, Taurus. Um, uh, I mean, comment, comment, comment. All right? I want you to put, the, put it in the comments. If it resonated, if it didn't resonate, put emoji in there. Let me know you're rocking with me. Let me know I did good. If a thumbs up, if please like the video, like the video, guys. It's not gonna hurt you to like the video or dislike the video. Um, share, 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 share the videos. Don't keep them to yourself. Somebody else needs to hear it. Okay, subscribe. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter in the description box. Okay, and I want to personally thank you for watching. Thank you for spending time with, with me. I'm spend, I'm sending love your way. I'm sending healing your way. Trinity is.